What's going on everybody, it's Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really happy to announce that version 35 of Oculus integration is now available, which fixes a lot of the issues that we have with hand tracking. And the cool thing with this is now you're gonna be able to use the, basically the mesh generation that they provide, not only the skeleton rendering, but also generating a mesh and actually seeing a mesh when you're using the OpenXR backend. So I'm gonna give you a couple of demos. We're gonna be looking at some of the pass-through demos that they provide with hand generation. And I'm also going to show you a basic demo where we're going to be using hand tracking and also pass through. But I'm gonna be walking you through every single step in the process so that you can actually start using that in your own experiences. So I jump into Unity and I start working on it. The first thing that I want you to do is make sure that you have this version of Unity, which is 2018.434F1. I also already changed this project to Android. so. This can be just basically any project. Just make sure that you are using that version and you have it set to Android. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and go into player settings and we're gonna be looking at anything, everything that we need to do to get this working with pass through and also hand tracking. So also go ahead and install the XR management plugin. Go ahead and click on install. Okay, so once you have it installed, that means that we're gonna be able to add what's called plugin providers. We're gonna click on Oculus, which is going to be under Android, and that's going to download the plugin provider for Oculus. You can also do it through the package manager. I've been doing it this way and it's a lot easier. I also do the same thing for desktop, so just make sure you do that. And once you do that, you're gonna have different options in here for Oculus. Let's go ahead and close out of that. So now the next thing that I wanted to do is let's go ahead and get back into player settings, players, and I'm going to be changing a couple of things in here. We're gonna change the scripting back in. We're gonna be using IL2CPP. The reason for using this is because we haven't been able to get it to work with the other version, which is Mono. So the community knows that this is a version that you need to use for the scripting back in. So make sure you select that. And I'm also going to be using that net for that X, which is also going to be required. Also make sure that the API level is set to, to 23. And once you have it set to 23, that's basically everything that we need to do here. In addition, we're gonna have to change the color space to be linear. Let's go ahead and close out of this and also close out of this. So now what we need to do is we need to go into window and then package manager. And if you downloaded the version of the Oculus integration already, you're gonna have it under my, under my assets. In your case, your assets. So I'm just gonna search for Oculus. You're gonna see that as soon as we do that, it's gonna show this might show a lower version, might just be 34 or 33, depending on the last one that you downloaded. Just make sure you click on update if you if you haven't downloaded 35. Once you download 35, you're gonna be able to import it, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so once you hit import, you're gonna get this message that says, new specializer plugin found. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. And then it's gonna restart Unity, click on restart. And yes, it's going to ask you to update the OVR plugin. I'm just gonna say yes. Okay, and it'll restart Unity and we can continue on as soon as that's done. And it just says that it has been, it has installed OVR plugin. Okay, so it looks like we got everything already imported. If you go into the Oculus folder and then click on Oculus Project Config, we're going to be adding a couple of things in here. The first one is going to be that we're gonna enable controllers in hands. The reason for that is because we want to handle hand tracking and also the pass-through capability that we used to have to run through the ADB command, through the PowerShell or a command line, then we needed to basically run it against your Oculus device. You don't need to do that anymore. It's just going to be included in here. So if you go into Oculus, I'm gonna go ahead and open up one scene that I wanna show you how it runs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and expand it. And if you go into pass through and then scenes, there's gonna be one that I want you to test right off the bat just to make sure that everything works. So you're gonna go into pass through hands and then go into file, build settings, and then let's go ahead and add it as a scene that we're going to be building. And let me go back to that one more time. The other thing that I recommend that you do is make sure that you connect your device. Okay, so I have my device connected. Let me hit refresh one more time. You're gonna see that now we can see the our device. In my case, I have the Oculus Quest 2, so you might have the Oculus Quest 1. So the next thing that we need to do is if we go into the OVR camera rig for the scene that we just opened, there's gonna be a couple of things in here that we wanna make sure that they are set. And it's gonna be already set up for you for the most part. The capability that we need to make sure that we have enabled is going to be the pass-through capability enabled. 
and also controllers enhanced, which is gonna come from the file that we just modified in the beginning and make sure you have enabled pass through as well. And then this is gonna have the OVR pass through layer, which is what we're going to be using for a demo that we're gonna be building. But for now, what I wanna do is I wanna build this one to the Oculus Quest 2, just to make sure that everything works. And then if everything works, we'll move on and create our own scene. And I'm expecting that I'm gonna get an error. And the reason why I wanna see that error is because I wanna show you what we need to do to fix it. Okay, so this is the error that I was talking to you about. And there's an issue with version 35 on selected pass-through soft, which is a shader that the Oculus team put together. So I'm gonna show you what we need to do to fix that. Okay, so if you scroll down on the shader, which is the selected pass-through soft, that shader, you're gonna see that they're using a sampler 2D, and I'm not an expert in shaders. All I know that the, what I'm about to tell you, it's going to fix it. Typing Unity declare the texture. For some reason it can, the sampler 2D, it can't really get the information that it needs. That's really all I know of how to get it working. But once you do this Unity declare depth texture against the camera depth texture, it's going to, it's going to work just fine. So just going to hit close. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do in order for us to get the pass through working is one really important step and that is to go to Oculus then go into tools in OpenXR and want to make sure that you switch the OVR plugin with OpenXR backend because that's basically the whole point of this video is just to make sure that we're using OpenXR with hand tracking. And then it's going to tell you that it needs to restart Unity. Let's go ahead and restart Unity. All right guys, so I got a build to the device. It's really hard to see because of the, for some reason the background that this has makes it really hard to see my hand. But basically what's happening is, if you can see here, this is my real hand in real life and everything outside is the, the digital world. So it's basically doing a pass through my hand to be able to see my hand and then building the polygon based on what it has built in Unity with the hand tracking mesh implementation. So let me show you also another video that I think it's a lot better than, than what I show you. So this is gonna be what we're gonna be building today, right? We're gonna have a hand a mesh. We're also going to be doing pinch, which is going to, basically that didn't work on the previous video because OpenXR had some issues with it. So now the mesh works with hand tracking. You can also do pinch. And I can also use my other hand, like if I go fast forward a little bit, you can see the skeleton is also working and I can also do a pinch and everything just works really well. So that's what I'm gonna do next is now that we have the scene, you know, working, I'm gonna go back into the sample scene and we're gonna start building this one from scratch. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is we're gonna be removing the actual main camera. And then I'm also going to go into lighting here. I'm gonna be removing the skybox, also the directional light. And the reason for that is because what we're gonna be building doesn't need that and it actually causes issues if you have that. And then what I'll do here is we're going to be naming this in a way that will be friendly for you to remember. So I'll just go ahead and rename this one right here to be underlay pass through hand demo and I'll go ahead and reload it. Once you do that, I'm gonna be adding that to build settings as well. And let's go ahead and uncheck the other one because I wanna be able to build the new one that we are going to be working on now. I need to also create the hands and also add an OVR rig. So I'm just gonna go ahead and search for OVR camera. And if you do OVR camera, it's gonna find it. We'll just go ahead and, re and add it to basically the main scene that we have. I'm just gonna do Control S to save it. And then once you add it, the first thing that I'm going to look at is going to be the pass-through capability enable that needs to be enabled. And make sure that you have the enable pass-through, otherwise it's not gonna work. And I'm gonna add a new component, which is gonna be the OVR pass-through layer. In fact, let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see because I'm sitting on the bottom right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it again and then add it. And then let's change it to underlay because we want the pass-through to be behind all the digital objects. We don't want it to be on top of the digital object. So that's pretty much everything that we need to do here in order for that to work. So now I'm gonna go ahead and expand this and on the center eye anchor, I'm going to be also changing the color here. It's gonna be black. And I'm gonna move the alpha all the way down. So now what we need to do is we need to add the OVR hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for OVR hand prefab. And let's go ahead and expand the left hand anchor and right hand anchor. And I'm gonna drag it and drop at the bottom of each. So it should be next to the left controller anchor. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I think by default, it's going to have hand left. So the hand left, we don't need to touch. The hand right is the one that I'm gonna be changing here. It's gonna change this one to right. I'm also going to be changing this one to right. 
and then I think everything else in here it should be okay. So I don't want to. So I'm, I'm, I don't want to actually render the OVR skeleton render on the right hand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the mesh, right? So what I'll do here is we'll have the OVR mesh for the right hand and then the skeleton that's gonna be for the left hand, just like I show you in the actual demo. But we're gonna need a material and I think the material is already associated with the skin mesh. So this is fine, it's just gonna be a black hand. And then on the, the other thing that I also need to do is I'm gonna be associating this with the system. I'm just gonna do system, system gesture hand material. So the skeleton we need it, but we don't need to render the actual skeleton. So this one is going to be unchecked. On the other hand, I'm going to actually do the OVR skeleton, but I don't want to do the, the actual OVR mesh. So let's go ahead and do that. And also disable this. So it's gonna be the OVR skeleton render, which is going to be rendering the skeleton. We also need to change the skeleton material. I think on this one, I ended up doing also the basic hand material. And then on the gestures, we can also do what we did on the other one. We can just do system. And then I'll just do, on this case, system gesture material. I think, I think that one should work just fine. And then that's pretty much everything we need to do. We don't need to do a skin mesh render because we're not gonna be rendering that mesh. So you should end up with the left hand, with the OVR hand, the OVR skeleton, OVR skeleton render, and the OVR mesh, mesh render and skin mesh are going to be disabled. In fact, if you wanted to create a new component that had that, you could, you know, you could do that really easily. So once you have that, that's pretty much everything that we need to do. All right, guys, so I added a lot of features to this scene, including different logos in here that you can move around. These logos have a rigid body and also a mesh collider so that if we're using our hands, we can basically just collide with those objects. I also added a debug area so that I can log information to the console. Specifically, when we're doing a pinch, I wanted to send a message to the debug area. So if you go and look at the OVR hand prefab on the left hand or on the right hand, you're gonna see that I have hand gestures, which is a new script that I added. It's fairly simple. All it's doing is just getting the OVR hand reference and also determining what kind of hand we're dealing with and then just printing information to the log. So this logger is my logger implementation. It's going to be included in this repo. And then what I'm doing on the update method is just detecting that get finger is pinching. Basically, we pass in the finger, it'll detect if we're pinching with that finger. This is something that wasn't working on the previous version of the Oculus integration, so I wanted to test it out to make sure that it's working. And it also works because that's what I show you on the video and also the get finger pitch train. In fact, if we go in and look at the video that I took, so let me go ahead and open that up one more time. You're gonna see that as soon as I initiate a pinch, you're gonna see right there, it's just starting to basically to write to the console, which is the debug area. And that's because of this line right here that is detecting a pinch. And because that pinch work, is sending that information to the debug area right here. So I'm going to be checking this scene as, so, as soon as I finish this video. So just make sure that you look in GitHub under Oculus pass through with hands under GitHub at the Omer V. I'm also going to be putting this in the description of this video. So that's everything that I have for today, guys. Thank you very much.